Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Boulfet. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakhir Palace His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. During the meeting, His Majesty and His Royal Highness reviewed a number of local issues that aim to serve the National Action March for the development of Bahrain and its people. His Majesty noted the success of the Kingdom of Bahrain in various development sectors, affirming the keenness to continue adopting programs and plans, as well as employing all resources and possibilities to meet the aspirations of citizens and achieve more national gains. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister for their efforts and constant support of the government's work plan to develop the level of services provided to citizens and residents in all state institutions. His Majesty praised the honouring results achieved by Bahrainis in various sporting events on the regional and international levels which reflect the their excellence and outstanding efforts in promoting the kingdom. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Gdaibiya Palace a number of royal family members, senior officials, members of the Council of Representatives, businessmen, media figures, journalists and citizens where they discussed a number of issues and topics. His Royal Highness affirmed that in the midst of the rapid changes and developments in the region and the challenges facing it, cooperation and coordination to unify positions and visions is inevitable and continuous communication has become become a necessity to achieve stability in the region. The Prime Minister noted the steady pace of development based on a vision of security and stability amidst an environment of services that achieve the aspirations of the people. He hailed the contributions and sacrifices of Bahrainis for their country. His Royal Highness expressed pride in the Bahraini people for their courage and support to face all challenges. His Royal Highness affirmed that the government is keen on executing plans and programs that focus on developing cities and villages and provide the requirements of citizens of all services. The Prime Minister noted the urbanization and development of infrastructure of Bahraini cities and villages, stressing that the government will spare no effort for the welfare of the citizen and to provide its requirements in the housing, health, education sectors as well as other sectors. His Royal Highness also noted the important role of the Legislative Authority in the Shura Council and Representatives Council for their effective contribution in expressing the issues of the nation and citizens.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Qadaybiya Palace the sons and grandsons of the late Sheikh Ahmed bin Khalaf Al Asfur, led by Sheikh Nasser bin Ahmed bin Sheikh Khalaf Al Asfur. His Royal Highness hailed the status of Al Asfur family in the Bahraini society for their national contributions. His Royal Highness commended the example the kingdom represents in coexistence and interdependence, affirming that any attempts to disrupt the unity and cohesion of the people of Bahrain will not succeed and praised the role of Bahraini families and their contributions to the development of the kingdom. The Prime Minister expressed keenness on meeting Bahraini families to maintain the ancestors' tradition of communication. His Royal Highness stressed the importance of maintaining the values of communication and brotherhood between the people of Bahrain and passing them on to the future generations. For their part, the sons of the late Ahmed bin Khalaf al Asfur expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his keenness on on strengthening the national fabric between the people of the community. They noted that adherence to the values of communication maintains the unity and security of the country and serves the community. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at the Qadaybiya Palace the President of the National Audit Office, the NAO, Hassan bin Khalifa Al Jalahma, who presented the 14th Financial and Administrative Report for the fiscal year 2016-2017. His Royal Highness affirmed the government's keenness on tightening supervision and control on public expenditure to preserve and manage public funds and to ensure their optimal employment to promote the principles of integrity 
accountability and transparency. The Prime Minister praised the supervisory role of the NAO as it supports the government in improving performance, ensuring accountability and enhancing transparency. He noted the professionalism of its reports and their role in enhancing the management of public funds, hailing the efforts of the NAO president and employees. Al Jal Ahmed then expressed pride in handling in handing in the 14th report to His Royal Highness under Article 19 of the Audit Office. He added that the NAO aims to help authorities manage their affairs in an institutional manner that is based on laws and regulations to help them develop their performance and avoid any manipulation of public funds. NAO President also noted the role of the office in tightening control over public funds and rationalizing expenditure and its role in enhancing the national economy and sustainable development. He also noted the role of de developing monetary and accounting systems. He held the support of the executive authority in implementing the recommendations of NAO's reports. He also commended the cooperation of ministers and officials with the office, which has enabled the NAO to achieve its assigned duties. In conclusion, al Jalahma lauded the support and directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, noting the government's keenness on implementing the recommendations of the National Audit Office. On behalf of Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Abika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, the Deputy Prime Minister and Head of the High Supervisory Committee of Bahraini Women's Day 2017, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa attended the official ceremony of Bahraini Women's Day, which celebrates this year Bahraini women's contributions in the engineering field. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Khalid extended congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and to the Royal Highnesses, Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and the Crown Prince Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Khalid also extended his congratulations to Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, expressing thanks and appreciation for Her Royal Highness's designation to attend the ceremony on her behalf to honor the leading female engineers in various fields of engineering. The ceremony was attended by the speaker Speaker of the Representatives Council Ahmed Ibrahim Al Mullah and Chairman of the Shura Council Ali Saleh Al Saleh, as well as a number of officials and invitees. The Deputy Premier delivered a speech in which he praised the directives of Her Royal Highness, the President of the Supreme Council for Women, that are based on overcoming the traditional frameworks in celebrating Women's Day by elevating it as a work program and an annual activity to study and evaluate the reality of women's participation. His Honor Sheikh Khalid expressed his aspirations for the opt outputs of the Bahraini's Women's Day work program which accelerate the progress of Bahraini's women in the engineering field. The ceremony also witnessed the honoring of the winning team for the best design for a monument competition which was launched by the council for this occasion in cooperation with the Bahrain Culture and Antiquities Authority.
The Bahraini Women's Day 2017 is dedicated to the engineer women of Bahrain in all their 18 different fields. It is a great honor to receive this award and uh, this recognition and uh, for, uh, from Her Royal Highness uh, Prince uh, Sabicha bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, President of Supreme Council. And uh, it is uh, not just a delight to receive such an honor, it is a pride for us because uh, to recognize women, especially in the engineering and architecture field, uh, it, it is very important. And uh, from this here, I would like to express my gratitude and uh, thanks and appreciation for the Supreme Council uh, headed by Her Royal Highness for their support and care for women and empowering women and not uh, in general and in this field is, is uh, uh, building the country and it is very important because it's a prosperity for all of us. The engineers who were uh, greeted today and you saw all these different majors. Previously it was engineering, maximum a civil engineering or an architect, but now we have different speciality. We have uh, women who have gone into aircraft engineering. This is, this is amazing. The video that was shown, it was amazing. I was, I'm so proud. I'm so happy today. Um, a special thank to Her Highness um, uh, Sheikh Sabika and special thank also to the Supreme uh, Council. They have done a great job. Part of this year's Women's Day, a competition was done to choose a design for a landmark to mark Bahraini women's achievements. The competitors were Bahraini students and graduates from the architectural field. Well, I think what was most exciting was to really have a team of young students and also young mentors, a young uh, organizational team, and that there was a constant dialogue and a discourse between uh, the government parties, the Supreme Council for Women, the Authority for Culture, and so there was this constant dialogue. And so not only was it an opportunity to really see what, uh, let's say, the youth or the new generation was interested in seeing in public space, but also their interpretation of women's achievements in Bahrain, but also I think what was really exciting was to see this like I mentioned, that dialogue occurring and saying, oh, that the future of, um, of women in Bahrain, that the future of achievements in design and architecture will occur as a forum and that we'll all be able to celebrate the achievements of women together and be able to have this discussion ongoing. This is Sarah Break reporting for Bahrain International. The Shura Council held its weekly meeting today, chaired by its speaker Ali bin Saleh Hassalah. The council approved the recommendations of the Financial and Economic Affairs Committee on the proposal regarding the future generation reserve. The council also ratified the previous session's minutes. The council approved a draft law regarding the amendments of a number of provisions of the law of societies and cultural and social clubs and the youth and sports private authorities and institutions. His Honor Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa attended yesterday the karting championship that was held at the Bahrain International Circuit. His Highness crowned the winner of the second round of the three-hour endurance championship for karting and congratulated the winners of the first three places in the round, which witnessed a wide participation of 21 teams. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed lauded the capabilities of the Bahrain International Circuit and expressed his pride of the Bahraini youth who have contributed to the promotion of motorsports in the kingdom which receives great care and attention from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He also praised the high level of organization of this tournament and the strong competitions that took place among the participating teams. He wished all success for the sport that have accumulated a large fan base, promising to develop the participation of the Sons of Bahrain in various car races, signaling a promising participation of Bahrain, Bahrainis in various car races. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed noted the efforts made by the Bahraini Federation headed by the Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, Chairman of the International Karting Committee as well as the Bahraini International Circuit for the advancement of motorsports.
The Bahraini woman is an effective force in the community thanks to the initiatives and support of Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Abika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa. Bahraini women have participated in many fields in which they have demonstrated their development and ability to work with excellence. In implementation of the initiative of Her Royal Highness, Princess Abika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, to allocate a day in celebration of Bahraini women, this year in the field of engineering, the Ministry of Interior has made outstanding achievements since the involvement of Bahraini women in different engineering fields. Bahraini women have proven their competency in all fields as a partner in both duty and achievement. The Ministry of Interior has worked on reinforcing the role of Bahraini women in the security system and in turn, Bahraini women have given the most outstanding examples of commitment and dedication. As an engineer at the General Directorate for Traffic, where the technical and security aspects meet, it is my job to secure the movement of drivers across Bahrain. We have to cooperate with the Ministry of Works to work and follow up on traffic diversion in all roads, place necessary traffic signs, find alternative routes for drivers, and evaluate new roads. I congratulate Bahraini women on the occasion, particularly women engineers who have proven their abilities in all fields. As we see, Bahraini women have been honored and awarded inside and outside of Bahrain. As an engineer with a bachelor's degree in computer and telecommunication, and in my current field at the Ministry of Interior at the Telecommunications Directorate, I do a number of things. I work on phones, cables, security cameras, satellite receivers, and the ministry's networks. And this has added a lot to my experience. Women in society have become a pillar for professional and technical work. In the engineering field, women have become a successful example. As for me, I work as an engineer at the General Directorate of Civil Defense. Our job is to protect lives and properties. We study architectural, mechanical and electrical plans. And the engineering work here varies between field work and supervision, which adds to my experience as an engineer. What first comes to mind when speaking about women in the engineering field is the planning and construction of buildings or software engineering. However, women engineers at the Ministry of Interior have surpassed that level by overcoming all kinds of challenges. Bahraini women engineers now maintain aircrafts, a field which was once exclusive for men. Bahraini women have proven to be trustworthy in this intricate field of engineering. The Bahraini woman has participated in all technical fields that help the Bahraini society grow. Bahraini women engineers have proven their abilities at the national level. My specialty is aviation engineering in the field of electricity and electronics and the police aviation command. My job as an engineer is to prepare and inspect aircrafts before and after takeoff ensure their safety and the efficiency of the equipment and meters, maintain the aircraft and replace spare parts when needed. Women's excellence is a sign of a society's development. This is what Bahraini women engineers at the Ministry of Interior have proven. They have become a model of security work development for the safety of the homeland. Today ends one of the biggest competitions Gravity Indoor Skydiving has ever hosted, attracting adventure lovers from all over the world. More on this report with Heba Abdul Ghaffar. Today marks the second and last day of the Flight Fighters 2017, a battle in the biggest competition Gravity ever hosted, gathering the most advanced indoor skydiving stars together with their astronomical performances, along with intermediate adventure lovers from all over the world. Bahrain is more known now since this is the first tunnel here and all these people get to come and experience what's like and this is also one of the newer tunnels so it's really good. I started flying a year ago, I started training for this competition two months ago. Uh, this is my first competition, that was awesome to meet all these great people and just awesome vibe. And we've only been in the tunnel but after this we're staying here for a week so we can't wait to go around and see but in Bahrain the competition was really fun and we actually got third for two way so yeah we're really happy. I find that the tunnel here is really beautiful and all the decorations. So yeah, it's really nice to fly in this tunnel. Uh, I came from Norway here to judge uh, Gravity Indoor Skydiving and it's been a really, really fantastic competition. The organization has been spot on. Um, looking forward to having the big competition here next year. And you have some of the best competitors in the world competing here at the moment. So it's super cool for Bahrain. 
Competitors were amazed by the wind tunnel in Bahrain, as it's one of the tallest ones in the world, with an overall height of 12 meters. It was a thrilling, unforgettable experience for all participants from different age groups. I basically felt like I was at home because of all the people around me encouraging me and all that. And the organization was like really great. We were all on time. Really exciting and fun. I really like it here because it's exciting to get to know a lot of other flyers. I feel great being here and this place is actually amazing. Regarding the organization, I think they did a good job, especially considering this is the first bigger event, you know, they had some invitation from teams all over the world. Uh, in general, I think it is run really smooth. It was a good organization, the, the building is really, the facility is really, uh, really nice, the building is really big. The tent outside is nice and the food is nice, so the schedule was really on time, so congratulations. The competition was an excellent opportunity enhancing tourism, as most of the participants flew in specifically for the competition and were all so happy to be in Bahrain. Taking tourism to new heights, Bahrain is hosting Flight Fighters 2017, attracting indoor skydiving lovers to not only compete but enjoy the thrilling adventure. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdelghafour.